Hello and welcome to Angelus Institute Sims Lab. My name is Mr. S, and today we are going to demonstrate proper tourniquet technique. Because many tourniquets are created differently, it's best to assess your client's allergy status to latex. Do you have any allergies to latex? No, I do not. Once that's figured out, you can go ahead with the procedure. Just note that anyone who's had a previous mastectomy or possibly a venous access device for hemodialysis is as contraindicated to put the tourniquet on that affected arm. If the intended puncture site is to be in the antecubital area, you want to first put the tourniquet approximately four to five inches above the antecubital area. If the intended puncture site is behind the hand, you want to put the tourniquet midway on the forearm. People have the misconception that application of the tourniquet is similar to that of when you tie a shoelace. This is the incorrect way to do this. Take the tourniquet, place it under the patient's arm, and cross both ends with one hand. Take your other hand, pull up. By doing so, this tightens the tourniquet. Take the other hand and tuck it from above. As you can see, we made a quick release knot. After the venu puncture is completed, the quick release knot is there, so you can take one hand and take it off. As you can see, this procedure requires manual dexterity to secure the tourniquet in place. With practice, you'll be a pro. Thanks for watching Angelus Institute Sims Lab. Bye. Bye.